I won't be happy now when we're talking, that's good. Hello everyone, welcome to our first video chat. I'm Alison Nash from Sweet Pea Machine Embroidery and this is... Annette, hi everybody, welcome to our video. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of stuff to show today and some sneak peeks. So, and some not too subtle sneak peeks neither. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we just hide them. They're not supposed to know about that yet. No. Really. <laughs> so um, today being Wednesday, we announce our project of the week winner. So this week it was Monique Henrad. I hope I pronounced your name, Monique, properly. Um, Monique made, made a beautiful gorgeous. circles quilt. You'll be able to see that in our Facebook page. Um, I've got our circles quilt here to show you. Actually, we can probably flash up a photo of. Yeah. Hers. Yeah. This is our circle. So circle. this this quilt can be made in the four by four, five by five, six by six, and seven by seven hoops. And it's got a lot of quilting detail, which you may not be able to see on the video, but it's all done in the hoop quilting detail yeah. as well. So. And there's just two different blocks in that, and you can put them in like a combination of different ways, so you can yeah. get different effects. Yeah, definitely. So they don't have to be made into a quilt. You can make it a table runner. Use a few and just a, the use of colour can make it look completely different too. Yeah. There's lots of examples on our website, so if you go to the product Circles Quilt, you'll see um, some previous cust um, photos from customers that they've posted in the group over the, the last few months, and we update those regularly, so it, they're not always the same, so always check in, it gives, it's good for inspiration. This beautiful quilt was made by Friedrich Seeler Schultz. Yeah, it's gorgeous, that one. So we've had a few new releases in the past couple of weeks, yep. not that many. Um, one of them was our Good Day Oh yes, this was bag. for Australia Day and Australia, and Australia was celebrated on the 26th of January, so we made a bag for that. And a lot of people have actually asked what Good Day Mate means, and G-D-A-Y is just Australian slang for Good Day. Good day. Australians like to abbreviate. Yeah, so instead of saying have a good day, we go... G'day. G'day. Yeah. And g'day could mean <coughs> hello. I could say g'day Alison mm -hmm. as when I meet you or mm -hmm. when you're leaving and you're saying goodbye, it's like g'day. Yeah. So that Let's one can be made there. that could be made in the five by seven, six by ten and eight by twelve hoop. There's a cute little um, koala. We've just made a root. plane on the back and that's what it has in the pattern. But if you wanted to you could repeat the front for the back as well if you want it completely. And a lot of our panels you can intermix anyway, so that was made in a 6x10 hoop yeah. and you'd be able to use that and in another project. This is a koala, project. of course, and a kangaroo and we've actually used Aboriginal design fabric. And they're beautiful, those well. fabrics. So on the Australian theme, we have our little baby, Sweet Pea, who's three months old, um, modelling our little koala bib, which is 3D with the little ears. He's been very well behaved today, Alison, too. Yeah. Um, Oh gosh, what size was this made in? This That's made, made in the 7 by 12 This one? Yep, and then the 9.5 by 14. Oh, okay, yep, so this is a 7 by 12 and this yep. is fitting our three month baby perfectly. We have camp snaps. So that's the smallest hoop size back. that that one can make because it's made... Yep. It, it's not made totally in the one hooping, is it? Because that's a separate piece down the bottom? No, it is. It's all yep. one hooping. Yes, yeah, so it's all one. Oh no, well sorry, two because the ears are made in yep. a separate hooping and yep. they're attached in the hoop yep. when you add the back yep. and everything on. Yep. So that's for three, this baby's three months old, so it could be for younger to a little bit older. And then if you want a larger bib, you'd have to use the larger size hoop. Yeah. And of course you can adjust the, the back, you yeah. could add to it. To oh, that's right. Bit. If you want the straps longer, you could always put a little piece of ribbon or something on there and actually make it a tie. Mm. Or even a bit well, of So that makes it longer. That yeah, whatever. Stretch. Yeah. yeah. So he's very cute. We've used like a, it's like a minky fabric, isn't it? He's a koala. No. What is it's it? It's a fur type thing. It's a fur. Well, it looks very It's fleece. Authentic. Well, it's actually a fleece, but yeah. a really thick sort of fleece. Looks like a koala fur. Yes. So um, in a couple of days, we've got our February sew along starting. So if you're already in the previous January Facebook group, you don't need to move. You just stay there and um, we'll announce all of the rules, um, the discount code for the new design. And um, yeah, so that'll start in two days' time. So we have a countdown clock in the group. So if you follow that, it's it's the second of February in Australia. So yeah. the people on in Australia they can follow and that. We'll, yeah, we'll show you a photo of the design now. It's a we call it's called our Daisy Table Runner, and yeah. it can be made in the five by seven, or six by ten, I think. Um, five by seven, six by ten, and seven by twelve hoops. Yeah. So it's beautiful mm. and perfect for spring. Yes. Okay. So. 
Another thing that's coming up is our Valentine's Day. Yes. So um, we've got some oldies. This is one of the first things I ever made. Yeah. It was one of it's, the first things I ever designed. And it's got the weird name of Hawaiian Hearts. So, well, because I liked it with the Hawaiian, using fabric. Hawaiian fabrics and everything, oh, and the first one quilting was, yeah. and everything, and it d did look Hawaiian. So. Yeah, yeah. So that's um, just a mug rug, so that's easy to do. That can be made in the 5 by 7 6 by 10 and 7 by 12 hoops. Um, you can use mug rugs for anything. You can use it to put your coffee on. I use one for, as a mouse pad. You can use it just as a, like a um, placemat. Actually, a lot of people... Uh, like worry that about it getting stained and everything too. Mm. What you can actually do before you attach the back in the hoop, so you'd have this in the hoop, you can put a piece of clear plastic or mm. vinyl, whatever you call it, that you can just buy from haberdashery stores over the top, then put your backing on top and stitch it around. When you turn it out, you end up with a plastic plastic, on plastic cover. So you end up, and I, I think we might do a video tutorial that's on that. Idea. I mean, it's only something simple, but we can show you how to do that. Yeah, that's, that's Make them that's actually idea. waterproof and coffee proof and all the rest of it. Yeah, spill proof. Yep. You can probably do that on bibs too. I've seen bibs. Yeah, you can. Not this one. No, not, not that. Not, wouldn't flap. Well, it'd suffocate under the plastic, wouldn't yes, it? Really? true. Yes. <laughs> to worry about the <laughs> Yes. <animals. laughs> all right. No animals <clears throat> are hurt in the making of our products. No, or this no. film. Well, that's right. Not yet. <laughs> Um, this is in our heart theme still. This is a French of Penny heart mug rug. This is one of our earlier sew alongs. Yeah. So that can be made in the 5 by 7, 6 by 10, and 8 by 12. So these are all really quick easy And this one's the 5 by 7, do. the little one, and that's a 6 by 10. And yeah. it's nice. We, we actually provide all sizes with our design, so you get all three. So if your maximum hoop is only that size, you can make that. But if you have a larger hoop, you could make all three and have mm. a nice set of different ones. I've just noticed with this one, Alison, we haven't even finished it off. So with, with our mug rugs, they're made completely in the hoop and you're left with a little hole and that's how we've turned it the right side out. So then to, to finish that, you can either get your needle and thread out and hand stitch it with an invisible stitching or you can just use some fabric glue and glue that shut. And on a mug rug, we would probably use fabric glue. Yeah. The only time you wouldn't really want to use fabric glue is on something like this where it might be touching someone's skin or like a quilt yeah. or something because fabric glue can go a little bit hard, hard and scratchy. it's fine. Yeah. It's perfect Quick for and easy rug. for that. So that's those. Um, we've got a couple of new mug rugs that we've just released for Valentine's Day, um, and I don't have the sizes there, but they'd be all little, they're all on the website. So that's the Valentine's. And these would be lovely because as a gift, it's your, it's basically your Valentine's card plus, yeah. and you could even write on the back. Yeah, you could too. And make it like the actual Valentine's mm. card. Yeah. And perfect for kids to give out at school and yeah, little friends. Yeah. They're cute. Okay, um, and then we've got our hearts and swirls table runner. Yep, this was this season. So that was made in a six by ten. That one. Um, the other size is wrong. And as with all our designs, you can easily use this to make a bag or something too. What you do is, if you buy this pattern, just you'd sub when you're making the bag, you just substitute these panels for two of these, and you'd have a beautiful yeah heart bag. And you can do that with any of the designs. You could take this heart design. You could take a, another. There's some exceptions where the on all these table runners, the the blocks are the the hoop size. Yeah. But on some special designs, if like that that quilt over there, some of the five by seven panels aren't five by seven or whatever but yep. with all our table runner and bag designs yeah you can mix and match so you can have fun doing that and customize your own designs projects so that's very cute we've seen some nice ones of those being posted in the group already we'll get we'll um add them to the website too so when you go and look at that product you'll be able to see um some examples that have been made already this is our uh, table center so our hearts table valentine hearts table center it's called so they're basically just all mug rugs, constructed like a mug rug, and then you construct them all together on your regular sewing machine. And it even comes with a stitching line that you can... And it's lovely how you get this 3D effect in the middle. By changing different colours. If you want them to sit flat, they will, but they will cr actually cross over a little bit. It doesn't matter, it's just all yeah. part of the effect. But they, they look lovely standing up. Yeah. So again, that was made in the 6x10. That, that was six by ten. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. Um, now we've just released last last week on the twenty fifth um, our new two thousand eighteen book of the month. 
So we've got two block of month, the months happening at the moment, which yeah. is causing a little bit of confusion. Yes. So this 2018, <laughs> the cruel block one, will be going for 12 months. There'll be a new block released on the 25th of each month for 12 months. So in the end, you'll end up with 12 blocks. You're not signing up to anything. So if if you like block one... And you, if you, you like the two the first two cruel blocks, you could use the two cruel blocks to make yeah. a bag or yeah. whatever Or well, if you don't so. like one, you don't need to use it. You can just... And eventually we'll be one. bringing out uh, sashing and corner blocks like yeah. we have done for our yeah. uh, last... the wonder quilt block of the month. So this is the block one. <coughs> yeah, a lot of... quite a few people in the group were a bit confused because they couldn't see from the original photo the, photo. the shape of the block and yeah. it appeared that the block was actually a, an egg shape, an oval. But it's actually on the, the it's a rectangle. on the rectangle there, yeah. You're going to give a sneak peek. Of yes, so that's block one. One, yeah. And the, so this is a very good sneak peek because the next block won't be coming out until the 25th of February or something. This has just been released. Okay, we like it. So I can do a quick one. And it's getting mean. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> <laughs> All they have to do is press pause, press pause on your video yeah, no, and well, it shows it and that's, you'll be good. That's why I did a quick else because as soon as I held it up. Yeah, for, oh, for Valentine's Day. Yeah, so this is one of our older designs. Yeah. This is called Double the Love. Because I'm good at computer games with designs. Yeah. So that's really that was so it comes to it's a left block, a right block and a border block. And these borders... You make you make two in each thing. Yeah. Actually, it might even be three in each thing. Yeah, I can't remember. Else, this one I made this such a long time ago. Probably three in each thing. Yeah. And again, you can use that for you can use just those two boxes and make a yeah. cushion cover. And, and, do, and do these as borders around it. And actually, I've seen people with those blocks reversed the other way around, so that you know, like oh, yeah. instead of having all the hearts facing one way on a table, yeah. you have them alternated yeah. up and down. So that's cute. So what have we got? Let's change it there, change that. Okay, so another exciting thing that happened last week, Alison, in the Facebook group, we hit oh, 40,000 members. 40,000 people. So, and it's, it's funny because um, mum watches the countdown. Mum and dad were away last week, so she missed yeah. the city the 40,000. But it came too quickly because we only we got to 39,000 the week before. So yeah. we sort of thought it would take a bit longer, but yeah. we're not nearly a thousand in a week, so. And I think we're on our way to now. Forty-one thousand now. We're there, so it's very quick. I'll just slip over here and turn off the air. Yeah, that's making a lot of noise. It's blowing my hair. <laughs> okay, so so to celebrate that we um, offered forty percent. Yes. Yeah, so well, uh, but that actually, Mum made a funny point about that though. What did she? Well, we were doing forty percent for forty thousand people. So what happens when we get to a hundred thousand people? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. That's n no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll think of something else by oh, then. Good point, Mum. <laughs> was one of our perennial favourites. It's the tulip quilt. So is there is enough and a down with this one? Oh yes. The, oh no, well the tulips are going one way or another way too. Yep. So it has lots of different blocks in it and lots of different sizes. You can look on the website for that. And this is a case where I was saying, see that's block there is a narrower block. Yeah, so, so you wouldn't, wouldn't be able to substitute that into a bag. And it has a good, this border is done in blocks. So this is a block. And it has this lovely folded effect and everything on it, all done in the hoop. Yeah, I don't know whether you can see it on the camera, camera all the beautiful hoop, quilting on it. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Probably zoom in on it. Got it, Holly? Perfect. So that was one. This is another one that Frederick made quite a yeah. long time ago in Germany. Yeah. Uh, leaf bag. Yes, it's still got a, an old label on it. I can take that off. So that's and it has, uh, I can't, don't know how many panels, but one, two, Three, four, five, six, maybe six different leaves. Yeah, in that, and, and that because be they're all squares, you could make a table runner out of it, or a quilt, or anything. This is a good one for the four by four people. Yeah. So that comes in four by four, five by five, and six by six hoops. So that's that's if that comes with you make all the little individual blocks, and then we give you the template of how to put them all together, we'll you and then your pattern. Then you fold it all up, and it turns mm -hmm. into a bag. It's Interesting. Clever. Very clever. Okay, and this one, the spinning top, top quilt. So I think we picked this as one of them because 
it's another it's another favourite. We just it has a couple of different them. blocks in it as well. So there's a block that is completely made using the flip and fold method with all these different ones on it. I think it comes in a mirrored block as well. And then there's also this block here, which just has the flip and fold on on half of it. And then this other half here just has some quilting. The flip and fold is really cool. I like that. You've used that in a few designs. That's well, I use it whenever whenever I can. Yeah, but you can't always. No. Okay, and then the fourth one that I've just dropped on the floor is the fairy wallet. I think we and I think we picked this one, Holly, because it started with F, like forty and fairy. I'm not sure. <laughs> Who would know? So that's really cute. Yeah, that the spine's all embroidered. Yeah, that's a six by ten. Place for your cards, a zippered section, the zipper's put in, in the hoop. It's all that's all completely made man. in one hooping. Yes. Oh no, two hoopings. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But completely made in the hoop. Okay, so that's that. I'll show the David back. Yes. Well I think we've shown it before, but everyone keeps asking. They keep they want to see what size it looks like and yeah. and everything. So, so I mean it's an adjustable strap so you can make a laptop in it so you could see. But anyway. Um, We've also added a centre panel, so you can have your laptop on one side and then your leads and everything in there without your laptop. Or a notebook or, or something. Or yeah, your notebook or anything. Papers. Uh, it has a zipper closure. You can actually leave out that centre lining if you want because yep. it does make sewing the bag together a little bit complicated. Still not hard, but if you're a beginner, maybe just leave, leave it out. Yeah. But she's beautiful. Can you zoom in on the, that, Holly? So we've made this with um, neon thread, mainly because the glow in the dark thread is paler. I've got an example for you to show you. So we've used both. We have yeah. glow in the dark yeah. as well. There's but some photos on the website. So these, the, these are the neon thread that we've used. And then if you use all glow in the white. dark, it's a lot. It's a lot paler. Yeah. So you wouldn't get the vibe. And see if you use the, the glow in the dark. Yeah. Until you turn the lights off. Mm. She's beautiful. Yes. I enjoy seeing all of her being posted. Okay, so uh, I think we've shown everything. The other exciting news, Alison, is our road trip that I announced yesterday. Yes. To the UK. To the UK and we're also going to Germany. Yes, to Nadelwald. Well, I don't know how you say it. Nadelwald, Nadelwald I say, but yeah. maybe you're right. <laughs> it's a craft <laughs> show right? in Germany, um, not far from um, Frankfurt. Frankfurt, yeah, an hour away from Frankfurt. I think it goes for three days. Um, late so we'll be excited to meet all our German customers because we have yeah. lots and lots of very faithful German customers. So come along and we'll be and meeting up. Hi, with hopefully, Friedrich will be with us, so she'll be able to do any translating for us. So that'll be good. We won't have to try and brush up on your grade eight German. Yes, yeah. I think I got A in grade eight, but it's a little yeah. long time ago. I don't yeah, think help we did some in Germany. So, um, but yeah, late last year we were invited over by Brother UK to go and do a tour with them. So. Um, Melanie from Brother UK, she's organised an itinerary for us, so we fly into Glasgow and we work our way down. So I've put a map on the web on our Facebook group, sorry, um, but we have we'll have to put the link to all the. So it's mainly trunk stores. shows. Yeah. Is it eight stores? Eight stores. Yeah, so eight trunk shows we'll be doing, and then we're going to the British. And we're starting at the show. upper high as Edinburgh and working all the way down to the bottom of England. So you should be able to find us somewhere and then going to the show at Exeter. Yeah, I think Melanie picked the stores that she did along the way because she felt that, that would they would be the most central to everybody. So, you know, not too much driving to get to us. So we hope that people, you know, will, will come for a bit of a drive and see us. We're flying for 20, over 21 yeah, hours. That's right. so, <laughs> get there. so come along and see us. Um, we'll post in the Facebook group the list of the shops, the names of the shops. So we'll you'll know. We're bringing lots and lots and lots of samples of our products to show you. Yep, samples. So, as we have done on our other trips. And things to sell. Oh yes, and we're going to have some things to sell, but we'll announce that yeah, in later time. Yeah. Mm. So very excited about that. So once we get the details up from the stores, um, you can call the stores and register or um, let them know that you're interested in going so they know how many people to cater for. Yeah, we hope to meet as many of our UK customers as yeah. well. So. And we're also going to the Uxeter, I think it's pronounced race track where there's a British stitch show, so that goes for three days as well. So that'll be good. And oh, you'll find us there on the brother, brother stand. stand. Yeah. So we'll be running classes <coughs> and everything, so that'll be worthwhile going to too. So if you want to check out that website, um, they'll have all the details for it on there too. Mm -hmm. So um, we've just got one more lucky last, lucky last, lucky last thing. You can talk about that one. Well, it's a total sneak peek. Yes. 
and I think we're just giving you a sneak peek because we're so excited about it because it's I've so never beautiful. seen anything so beautiful it, and you're probably not picking it up in the video of course how beautiful it is you've used this um, like metallic kind of, um, sheen it's on made the in the five by seven hoop and will only be coming out in five by seven size we give instructions on how to make all the blocks uh, and how detailed instructions on how to assemble it so mm. it's it's really easy to it's do it's called a mandala quilt a fair bit of work i guess in embroidering all the blocks but to end up with something like yeah. this it's amazing and it also can be as many rows as you like so even if you wanted to make a table center out of it you could just do to here or a larger table center and you could do it there if you want to make a whole quilt out of it you can just keep adding rows because this row here you'll see is two the triangular blocks this row here is two triangular blocks and one rectangle these rows are two triangular blocks and two rectangles so the next row would be two triangular blocks and three rectangles and it all works out that there's just all different sorts of <coughs> stitching on it this beautiful one every row of stitching looks different uh, there's a lot of um, applique and also a lot of embroidery that's all embroidered yeah gorgeous so we're just finalizing the instructions for that quilt and it should be out late next week Yay. sometime next week so look out for that one it's beautiful i want to take that one home and put it on my bed <laughs> Okay, well, I think that's a wrap today. We've, um, I think we've talked about everything that we've brought out in the last week or two, um, and we'll be back very soon. And, and we've decided to do these videos too instead of the live chat videos yes. because there's just too many problems with delays and the, the internet, internet dropping out and everything else. So we'll do it this way. Yep. We'll still have our um, type chats. regular type chats every week or second week, mm. uh, depending on our time. Yep. And in those ones, we can answer your questions yep. live. And of course, you can always post questions on the Facebook group at any time or email us. Or email so. us at sweetpnash at gmail.com. Yep. We're there to answer your questions anytime. And if you want anything in the next video, showing or something as well yeah, you can always uh, request us request it and we'll we can arrange that for the next video yeah yeah cool. okay thank you bye everyone